are we doing now? Losing weight. Would you mind postponing it for a little while? Would you all go upstairs to the study for a few moments, please? I'd like to talk to Mrs. Shadden. Florence, you can take your coffee up with you if you like. Oh, I so hate having my coffee upstairs. It's so middle class. Where's Emily Ann? I think you left her up on the phonograph, Florence. Oh, yes. She just adores the classics. <laughs> Upstairs, downstairs, so I can go scream! <laughs> May I stay, you Dr. Emmett? <laughs> no! No, you mean not! <laughs> Miss Gray said you were anxious to see tonight's papers. Why? You have it. <coughs> well, here they are. It will undoubtedly please you that you've caused considerable trouble again. Oh, have I? He's got off the phone with the senator. He's extremely angry. Oh, Titus on the front page. Senator Trapp in White House Hot House. <laughs> As a result of this, your position here has deteriorated considerably. And my disposition has blossomed enormously. Imagine pulling up all those petunias. <laughs> what would everyone think? Anything about Sandoval? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, the Boston Post. Oh, dear, 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 poor Samuel. All those bricks right on top of him. <laughs> Chimney collapses on Boston Jurist. <laughs> Well, for some people, it takes a ton of bricks, you know. <laughs> How could they possibly have believed you? They should be committed, shouldn't they? <laughs> Anything about Lily Bell? Uh, your batting average for mischief is 100%, Mrs. Savage. <laughs> what a horrible picture of Lily Bell. <laughs> Even Fairy would be frightened. <laughs> According to that, she resisted arrest. So I see. Female vandal invades museum. Berserk heiress bites police. <laughs> now they really are fools, aren't they, Doctor? What did you hope to accomplish, Mrs. Savage? Better terms. For your freedom? For my husband's memorial fund. Your children think the money could be put to better use. Of course, their own. Lily Bell settled over a million dollars on her six husbands. Samuel and Titus spent as much to secure jobs to which they had no right. Is that better use? Well, they consider your memorial fund most unorthodox, Mrs. Savage. Well, that's absurd. There are plenty of charities for foolish people in desperate need. But not for people with a desperate need to be foolish. Who brought you to that conclusion? My own life. No matter what we have, we never forget the foolish things we never got. I think that if Hannibal had been given a violin when he wanted one, he wouldn't need one now. That's quite possible. I want my husband to be remembered with warmth and gratitude for a few foolish dreams that came true. I will not give up my memorial to him. I'd like to discuss this with you further, Mrs. Savage, but at the moment, and you have visitors waiting. You can come in now, Senator. I'll be just outside. My head is gone. <laughs> How dare you make a fool of me? How dare you? You tried to kill me. You knew that old chimney would collapse if I started pulling out bricks, didn't you? We're really not a very bright family, are we? Oh, you must be proud indeed to see the name of Savage brought up in ridicule again. Did you dig, Titus? Eight FBI men jumped me, pushed my face in the dirt, though I was planting a bomb. Why didn't 
you tell the newspapers the truth? I did sleepwalking, really. You try and think of an excuse with eight men on your chest. She loved the chance. <laughs> it was learned today that the senator's mother, Mrs. Ethel P. Savage, the actress, was recently committed for irresponsible actions. Democratic leaders were quick to point out that this may explain the career of strange behavior in Congress by the senator. Do you realize what this does to me politically? Makes you a Mort Canard, like <laughs> David Duck. French, remember? I'll never survive it, never. They treated me like a criminal. They fingerprinted me. I meant to ask you, Lily Bell, was it in that big stuffed porpoise? Do you know what the newspapers call us now? The mad savages. How do you like it? What happened to those bonds? What happened to your dignity? Where's my money? Where is your self-respect? May I ask just what you intend to do now? Are you ready to listen to my terms? Or are you willing to dig in grins, too? We are prepared to compromise. If that means seeing things my way, then compromise is the right word. I will consider effecting your release into the custody of somebody for a period of time. That will look better for us. I'm willing to give you complete freedom if you give up acting and live a dignified life. Freedom, as Titus will tell you, is the right to make the wrong choice. What would we get? That's what I like about you, Titus. No nonsense. You'll each receive a yearly reasonable allowance. How reasonable? I will be generous, but the bulk of the estate must be given away by my fund. That is completely mad. We might have the commitment revoked just to have you play another trick on us. Where would we be then? Well, where are you now? Get it over with, Titus. Very well. Right of attraction, Samuel. I'm tired of having my decisions reversed. <laughs> when I'm released, I'll keep my promise. But I warn you, don't have me followed. Wait a minute, Samuel. What is it? I found the answer right here on the cover of this medical magazine. What are you talking about? An answer to avoid your compromise. But I have to go talk to Dr. Emmett first. Are you going to sign that petition, Lily Bell? <laughs> Titus, don't sign anything until I get back. Lily Bell, what could she have read? God knows. It's something to trick you. If you listen to her again, you'll end up without a cent. Titus, what'll I do? Finish it! Lily Bell's gotten us into trouble enough. And be quick. Yours and Samuel's signature will be quite enough. How many T's in commitment? Three. <laughs> Two. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like Oh, I'll write it. <laughs> Give me your pen. All it needs to say is the commitment was ill-advised and request release. Will that satisfy you? It will when you sign it. Sign it, Samuel. What are you doing? We're signing the letter. Sign it, Lily Bell. This isn't necessary. You'll regret this. Lily Bell, you've got no right to act without consulting us first. Oh, do be quiet and read this. Read it, Samuel. <laughs> Read what? The article on sodium pentothal. It's... Uh, perhaps, Dr. Emmett, you can explain to them what sodium pentothal does? Well, it's generally used in cases of shock. It releases tension, lowers the patient's inhibitions, and makes them receptive to suggestion. It's called the truth drug. Well, that's not quite accurate, however. Well, isn't it true when a patient is under the influence, they tell the truth? Isn't that so? Well, if they tell us anything at all. Now, do you understand? Did you want me, Doctor? Yes, just a moment. Doctor, Evan, get some of this truth drug at mm -hmm. once and administer it to my mother. Haven't I any rights at all, Doctor? Dr. Emmett, if I may, you're not going to listen to these people, are you? It's a flagrant misuse of science. Dr. Emmett, I order you to give this truth drug to my mother at once. 
This is savage. If I refuse, your guardians are quite within their legal rights to remove you from my authority. And I am confident they will find the means of subjecting you to the influence of sodium pentothal elsewhere. Then let someone else be responsible, Doctor. Ten million dollars hidden from use does no one any good, least of all you. It means an ever-present symptom of psychotic thinking. This is your opportunity to prove that you are capable of making a rational decision. The intelligent mind recognizes defeat. Well, then let it be known that I was not forced to my knees by science. I will tell them where the bonds are. They are in- Wait! We've come to the rescue! It's not too late. We just happen to be listening, and shame on you, and you, and you! Dr. Emmett, who are these people? These are my friends. Weren't you asked to stay upstairs, Hannibal? I want to protest, Doctor. What gives you the right to protest, sir? This doesn't concern you. I love you all for trying to help me. But Dr. Emmett hasn't much choice, as you must have heard. What will you do, Mrs. Savage? I will give them the bonds. I think you've made the right decision, Mrs. Savage. Well, are you going to tell us or not? I am going to show you. We are going to show you. <laughs> oh, you hurt him! <laughs> Here's your treasure. Oh. My God, she's had them with her all this time. Like this. 